Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled, Would a Jew Really Steal to Perform a Mitzvah? Lulav HaGazel, Haftenam Abet, and Gemara Sukkot Daf Yomi. talks about, if you have a lulav that's stolen, can you be Yotze, the mitzvah? has to be Lachem, has to be yours. And the fact that the Mishnah is even entertaining such a possibility. Unfortunately, sadly, Baruch Hashem, many, many generations of the Jews keeping Masorah going, keeping mitzvahs in the hardest of times, but many of us have an Achilles heel. It comes to money and the government and swindling and shtick him and trick him and taxes. And somehow, sometimes, from people, when you go ahead, we get so fixed on the mitzvah and building up a yeshiva and this and that, and having a lot of children that will stop playing shticks and listing ourselves sometimes as where couples are single, so they can get more tax breaks from the government if each one is single as opposed to married and sheker. You can have a dot lying in order to go ahead and get more money from the government. You have 200 guys listing the yeshiva, only 150. So the Gemara already 2,000 years ago knew there's a possibility that L'Shem Shamayim, for the sake of heavens, we could play shtick with our money, with our taxes, and literally have a stolen lulav and think we're doing the biggest mitzvah. A true halachic Jew, every mitzvah is careful from A to Z. There's not one weak area, no Achilles heel. There might be some areas that are challenging more than others to keep, but there's no area that we're not careful on. Money matters, spiritual matters, filling, etc. Shalom.